Oh man, I just realized before I actually started, uh, before I actually turned anything on, you could hear me menuing <laughs> because I forgot to turn off the game audio. <laughs> but I'm, I was just actually just making sure I could get my bearings before we started the stream. But like, since you heard me menuing, so you knew I was there, I might as well just like play. I'm inside the battle tent in uh, Slateport City. We got a TM for Growl. Well, the, the TMs can't all be good. How does this work? The battles. Using rental Pokemon. Oh hey, this seems this seems like a fun little distraction actually. Let's play the battle tent for a little bit. Oh um also new viewers, welcome back to Garmore's randomized Emerald Nuzlocke. Instead of doing like actual randomized or Nuzlocke things though, we're first gonna play the battle tent for a little bit. Now what's weird is like the rental Pokemon are practically random anyway. No! <laughs> Marino firmly anchored the body. Okay, so let's see here we got. We gotta look at what all these Pokemon get. Are these even randomized? I think I think the battle facilities aren't affected by the randomizer, because these look like relatively normal Pokemon to me. Okay, so we'll take Meryl, I don't mean to do the summary again, we'll take Meryl, Cacleon, Whelmer. So yeah, might be fun to do like a couple of runs through this with just some rental Pokemon. Pokemon come before money or family. You know, that's kind of Game Freak's ideology right now, because if you want to keep your poor little Glammeow alive, if it can't come to Sword and Shield, guess who you're gonna have to pay? By the way, why are the... <laughs> okay, okay, the abilities are still randomized, but I think the movesets are just fixed. Man, reflect. I wonder if you get BP for this. If you get B if you get BP for this, I'm gonna have to do this off screen too. So there's always good items to buy with BP. Up, oh, Aaron's part rock. So we're just gonna keep going. What do I do about this? I'm gonna throw up a rain dance since I have a free turn. And that means its water gun will be stronger than it was before. Okay, so what Pokemon have we seen? We've seen Baltoy, Aaron. What's this last one? Uh, Voltorb. Hmm. 
that might like legitimately be a nice pick for after the battle. Because if you weren't paying attention, the way the battle tent works is that we rent out Pokemon, and then after each battle, we have the option to trade with our opponent. Oh, hey, Meryl's ground type right now. Also, this recoil is, like, hardly hitting us. Is Spark just your only offensive move? Do we win now? But yeah, I figured this might be a nice, um, nice change of pace before we actually get into continuing the Nuzlocke. You don't get to view their summaries? That's kind of lame. Yeah, Vol Voltorb seems like a neat pick to me. No. Performer Helena. Oh, heck, we lose. The Voltorb doesn't have an item. And that wasn't the summary button. Can you tell it's been three days since I played Emeralds? Speed boost? Yeah, I don't trust like that. Oh. Okay, yeah. So we, we just lose um we just lose this one. Yeah, that seems like game to me because the other two Pokemon are water types. Do we get do we get battle points? Do we get battle points? Do we get battle no. Okay, we'll be coming back later. This is on Oh my gosh. I didn't even know that they stopped you in your tracks for random phone calls in this game. I've gotten two since I started playing. Like, I, I turned on the game, and this is the second one I've gotten. I don't like that. Alright, this is where we met our Cleffa. Water absorb. So here's the thing. Brawly has a level 19 Pokemon. 
And I think that we really need to respect it if we're going to keep this run going. I've watched other people's runs, uh, other people's randomizers end at Brawly, so I'm not going to let that happen to us. God, it's just so funny imagining a Cleffa using Crush Claw. I should probably address the uh, the condition our team is in right now for all of the new viewers. Um, so welcome back. On our team, we've got six lovely Pokemon. We have no reserves if anything were to happen. So we've got Audrey Four, the Cradilly, uh, and his ability is Sticky Hold, which prevents people from stealing items from him. Uh, then we've got Karen, the Jinx, who has Damp and has Sheer Cold, like... Wow, we, we've yet to land a sheer cold, but I swear, we are going to one day, and it will be beautiful. Audrey 3, father of Audrey 4, has the runaway ability, and also no spore. Banana Split the Dustclops prevents attraction with their oblivious ability. Um, also has Shadow Punch, and we had to teach her cut because we had to get those, we had to get through uh, cut areas somehow. Kararo the Politoed with um, <laughs> Conversion 2. Wow, what a legend. Oh, also he has Lightning Rod. Before Lightning Rod made electric moves not affect you. And then finally we've got Clarice the Cleffa with her Water Absorb ability and no really outstanding moves besides besides Headbutt. Headbutt's pretty good. What does Crush Claw even do? Okay, yeah, may lower defense, so yeah. She's, she's got some eye moves. Anyway, let's get back to the action. Um, I'm going to finish exploring this route, and we're probably also going to um, get ourselves some experience so that we don't get steamrolled by Broly. He's, his name isn't Broly, it's Brawly! Okay, rip Carvana. <laughs> Alright, let's go for the rock throw. Or the ancient power, rather. Wow, the crits today. You just keep doing you, Audrey. You see your Pokemon? Yeah, sure. Oh, hey. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Oh, man, I don't like that. Anyway, I'm about to end this man's whole career. Kabuto. It's a water and rock type. So we're switching in Audrey 3, father of Audrey 4. I like how we went from Audrey 4's full title being Audrey 4, son of Audrey 3 and Karen, to just Audrey 3, father of Audrey 4, being the one who has the full title. I don't want to register your register you biker Mia. <laughs> Good 
So yeah, we are just going through and battling all of the trainers so that we can get all the money we need. Chef Jasmine sent out Surskit. Now, Surskit is part bug, so, um... Die. Oh no, I have to commit a blasphemy. We have to kill Lord Helix. Also, it's pretty neat how one guy had a Kabuto and the other one had an Omanite. This would have been a double battle. We would have had them on screen at the same time, but like, I didn't want to do a double battle, so I just fought them both individually. A deep sea scale. Oh, we could have had Lord Helix. But instead, we got Audrey 4, son of Audrey 3 and Karen. So that's fine. Every single one of these Pokemon is such a powerhouse, and I love them. See, like, even better than a Nuzlocke for making you bond with random Pokemon you didn't think you'd like is a randomized Nuzlocke, because never in a million years would I end up using a Jinx. <laughs> but, you know, randomized Nuzlockes, they just make it happen. I do like, by the way, that, like, you, the viewer, just sort of get a little bit of insight into my average Pokemon play session. Where I'll just, like, I'll just be like, oh yeah, it's time to run around and do stuff. I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but I'll just, it's gonna happen, whatever it is. Banana Split desperately needs experience. And like, don't worry, Banana Split, you're gonna get it. Hey, do you guys think about how we don't have a Slateport City encounter yet? So we don't have a Slateport City encounter yet. About to make that happen. Actually, before I do, I'm about to double check and make sure that we don't have a Slateport encounter. <laughs> Yeah, we do not. <laughs> now it's time to go to the Pokemart. Oh, we can buy Great Balls now. I'm just gonna pick these up because I'm really tired of, like, scary poison. Then we're gonna buy some super potions and we're gonna have money left over. Did I heal at the Pokemon Center? Yeah, I did. Check this out. Walk in here. This is Slateport.
This is legally, according to the game, Slateport City. So if we fish here, this is a Slateport encounter and not an encounter for that route. <sighs> well, I might as well get a Route 109 encounter while we're here. Because the Slateport one clearly isn't working out. Ooh! Slack off. That's a cute little lad. Haha, -ha, Dizzy Punch doesn't affect Banana Split, so we are all safe. That might be his only attack. Kind of problematic, if you ask me. No, please don't do that. <laughs> we know, Slackoff. We know you're the center of attention. I'm going to just go ahead and throw a ball because I think he's just going to heal again. It sleeps virtually all day and night long. It doesn't change its nest its entire life, but sometimes it travels great distances by swimming rivers. Hold on a moment. Okay, so I just went away to grab a name for this lad, and honestly, I tried, but there's only one name. Yes. Already battled all the trainers on this route, I'm pretty sure. I will double check real fast. Oh hey, this is also Slateport City. Let's go. A bite? A bite? I got away. Okay! Another baby, but like, I can jive with this. A why not loves to eat sweet fruits. It cleverly picks fruits using its ear-like arms. <laughs> they gather in fruit gardens drawn by the fra fragrance. Wyatt. Wyatt the why not. Yeah! Now we're gonna have to start leveling, um... Banana split. We're gonna look at you, Clarice, and see if. Okay. Okay, so the only thing this Cleffa can hit Banana Split with is Rollout. So as long as it doesn't use Rollout, 
then we're in the clear. So my guess is, I guess if it's gonna use rollout, it's gonna be now. Um, okay. Nah, no, just keep using Mega Punch, it's fine. Yeah, that's perfect. And then the Cleffa has like four levels on Banana Split, so this will be a lot of experience. Forgot it's a baby Pokemon. <laughs> that means it's nothing. See, so yeah, as long as as long as the meat arena doesn't get the poison from the sting, then we'll be good. I don't like that. Hey Google, tell me if Bide works on ghost types. Um, oh boy. We're gonna, if we don't KO here, we're running. We're out! Oh, no! oh. what? It said in Gen 5. It, to, oh! That's dumb! It could hit ghost type Pokemon, but only in Gen 4. Okay, in Gen 1 and Gen 4, it could hit ghost types. And that was it. Every other gen, it just can't hit ghost types. I don't know why they changed that back in Gen 4, that's kind of dumb. See, there is the experience we were looking for. Yes. You know, I would have done this before the stream started, but, like, I didn't want anybody to think that I was breaking the rules. So the most I did was enter the battle tent. <laughs> I want everybody to be at least, like, 15 before we do anything. And, you know, let's, um... I don't like that Carvana being a dark type. So, yeah, like, all we have to do is raise up Clarice and Banana Split, and then we'll be ready to fight the gym. Oh, I should probably, like, shift around people's moves, too. Audrey 3. Magical Leaf is now the first move. Karen.
Banana Split. And there we go. I might start doing the thing the speedrunners do where I just go to the box because like, God, I'm so sick of that animation. Oh, my stars and garters. Uh-oh, he's clamped down. You let my daughter go and have her back by 11. Hear yourself again. Just, just like, hear yourself again. You know, people are going to gain levels if I use them in the gym, too, so I should probably just go on and do it. Because we, we know full well I'm going to fight all the trainers in the gym, because... Any piece of experience or bit of money we can get is valuable. So what I'm doing here is, uh... When you place a Pokémon in the box, it fully restores its HP and PP. Which... Ends up being a faster than actually just healing the, your party the normal way. Even if you're bad at it, like me. Yeah, take me back to Duford, Mr. Briny. Could you imagine your last name being a Briny? And then you do something that's not related to the ocean. God. It gets brighter after defeating a trainer. Nothing there. Are you a trainer? Yes! It's not my fault if you cry. That sounds scary. How are you doing that? Rich Girl Donna, how are you doing that? Everything just gets milk drink. Everything that's not my poison point. Are you serious? Um, Banana Split does not need Destiny Bond because Banana Split will never die.
You know, I could use an antidote, but considering the Pokemon Center is... Are you trying to kill Banana Split? <laughs> considering the Pokemon Center is right here... Yeah, I would much rather just go to the Pokemon Center. I think there's a double battle there. Spiel time. If there was ever a thing that just would just have sheer cold. Oh, um, hello there. Icicle Spear. Yeah, you better only hit two times. No skill link over here. Okay, so I think to keep my increased visibility, I have to do this all in one go. Uh, thank you for the follow, Darth Wolverine. Uh, just to remind everybody, if you follow me on Twitch, you'll get notified as soon as I go live. And that way you never have to miss another single moment. Ace Trainer Christine sent out Togepi. And Banana Split, why do we keep having to fight babies today? I don't like that. I especially don't like that. But something with a special type. Ice is special in Gen 3 and not physical, right? Oh, Far From Home was one of the best Marvel movies. You are correct. I won't talk about my thoughts on it here, just because it's so new, but like, god, that movie was good. Hey, make sure you stay for both post credit scenes, people. There's one after the fun and poppy credits, and then there's one after the boring credits, and you want to watch both. Oh, this lady wants to, like, kill us all right here. It ain't gonna happen, though. Rich girl Webster. Hey, it's a real fighting type in Brawly's gym! Mm, give us that sweet, sweet experience. Okay, Brawly's there. But we need the money and the EXP. So yeah, um... Audrey, Audrey 3 and Banana Split in a double battle seems fine to me. 
I would have much rather fought these two as a single battle. And Mareep and Duskull. Go to sleep. I'm just gonna magical leave just to make sure the Dust Skull doesn't make a move on Banana Split, since that would be super effective. Now I know the magical leave is gonna be resisted. I can see. I can fight. Did I already fight you? Yeah, I did. So then, I'm just making sure that I know the way through for when... Because, like, I, I am going to walk out and heal, and that's going to reduce our vision again. Okay, so just making sure I know the way. Well, you know, vaguely, anyway. Okay, yeah. We kept her. We kept her uh, visibility. That's fine then. It's extra fine because I forgot the way through the gym. I should probably give. I should probably give these babies some held items. Um, the best 3DS Pokemon game, uh, in terms of, in terms of how much I enjoyed playing through the single player campaign, I would say Sun and Moon. Uh, in terms of competitive battling, Ultra Sun and Moon. Gen 7 was just really good. Let's see, what kind of items do we even have? Boosts fighting moves. Boosts money. We should give that to somebody. Um, Audrey 4, maybe? see here. Yeah, I can, I can see why people didn't like, um, Oraz. I like those games a lot, but, y you know, some, sometimes it just, uh, sometimes, like, not every Pokemon game does it for everybody. Yeah, how many Pokemon do you even have? Three? Ah, oh, crap. I didn't mean to send up Banana Split. Oh, oh, we're including the DS games? Uh, we're including the um, original DS games with the 3DS games? If, if that's the case, um, Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver beats out Sun and Moon for best single player. 
There's just so much to do in that game. Like, when, when I... When I describe that game, I, I think it's just best to tell you that somebody once told me that the world was going to roll me. That I wasn't the sharpest tool in the shed. But you know, she was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. So playing through the game myself taught me that the years start coming, and they don't stop coming. Back to the rules and we hit the ground running. It didn't make sense not to live for fun. You know, your head gets smart, but your brain gets dumb. So much to do, so much to see, so what's wrong with taking the back streets? I missed what Pokemon was coming out. I don't like that. Oh, Pineco is fine. Pineco is perfectly fine. Oh, we got the stat boosts! Oh, is, is Gen 2 on the eShop yet? I should check that out. Okay, his level 19 is a Rattata. <laughs> his big scary level 19 that I said at the beginning of the stream we should respect is Rattata. There we go. Easy clap. That makes two badges. We have two badges now. We're doing so good. Oh, heck. Oh, heck, yeah, I just checked. Yeah, I, sh I should probably pick up Crystal on the eShop. Yeah, I, I, I literally just opened up my 3DS and, like, looked myself and just <laughs> found them. But, yeah, like, oh my gosh. Because I, I do have, um, I do have blue. So this would give me a chance to own one version, uh, like, a, 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 um, an original version of every game except for, like, Gen 3. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know TMs are one years only. Um, TM, TM being one, uh, TM's being multi-use in Gen 5 and onward was the greatest change to ever come for, uh, in this franchise, though. Because it made it more fun to, like, actually experiment with your movesets instead of just being like, Oh no! I have to commit specifically to one Pokémon learning this move. Can I just say, the team did great today, especially Banana Split, who, like, was not prepared for that at all. I didn't want Banana Split to go up front, I just forgot to change her out when I was giving everybody items. I always find people who can recover from the mistakes cooler than the people who don't make mistakes. We're bound for Slateport, Mr. Briny. Just take me straight to Slateport. 
here we go. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Briny. You're going to be waiting there for a while. I didn't know I could walk over these. Oh, that's why, because I can't walk over the backs. The Pokemon's right here. There is no Pokemon in Duford Town. Uh, I didn't mean to back all the way out yet. Let me see if there's any items that I just want to sell. You can pay me 10 Pokeon for a shoal shell. You're not getting that. No? What about the Thunderstone? Maybe. See, I could have sworn I picked up something, like, specifically for selling. Oh, yeah, I love the Sinnoh region. Sinnoh's great. Who's calling me this time? Oh, um... We can challenge the gym again? That's a thing we can do? One, two, three. One, two. You're being watched. I am the greatest living mystery of, of man in all of Hoenn. They call me the Trick Master. <laughs> Great to meet you. You, you've come to challenge my trick house, haven't you? That's why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Consider your challenge accepted. Enter through this scroll here and let your challenge commence. I shall be waiting in the back. Okay, so the trick house is sort of like a gym, except I don't get anything for it. I just get the fun of beating the trip the, the trick house. Oh, she a cop. I've already made this joke. We are gonna get Banana Split and Clarice the experience they need. Cause right now, they are just weak little babies. And we can't let that keep happening. There's no room for being a weak little baby. No? Okay. Okay, there's an item that way. If it if it's a Voltorb in the original game or something, that means we get a new encounter here. I didn't and if that I don't know I've never been in the Trickmaster's house. So if we do get an item there, then or if we get some bright powder. That drops things accuracy. 
the competitive player in me wants to go, oh, so it's garbage then. I probably won't be getting either because of, like, recent events. Swords, the thing about Sword and Shield is that I most of my hours playing Pokemon are spent playing competitive Pokemon. So as I see them do things to like mess up the metagame, I'm less inclined to like bear with it. So actually, let's talk about this. Um, so I'm 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 streaming this on the day that they revealed Gigantamaxing, which is freaking stupid. And also, I think the name itself is dumb. I hate it. Um, but yeah, they they just revealed Gigantamaxing, and my issue with that is that first of all. The odds that only the new Pokémon are going to be able to do it are really high. Second of all, they've already given us information on what these new Gigantamax moves are in press releases. And one of them, Dreadnoughts, lets it set up Stealth Rocks while also launching a Rock Attack. So let just just let that sink in. You don't have to use a turn to set up stealth rocks anymore. That is insane. They took the one they took the one balancing factor that status moves always had and said well, what if we just didn't do that? What is this scroll? Oh, okay, I memorized the secret code. We don't even know that it's open world. People just looked at the wild area and said, oh wow, it's an open world game. When they saw like one area with freedom to do stuff. Like people are propping it up because it's an open world game, but we don't even, it, it's not even, we don't even know that it's an open world game. For all we know, the wild area is just another route that's just really big. I forgot Clefas have water absorb in the random ice. <laughs> Karen time. Yeah, we no, we've seen the images, but like just because it's big doesn't mean you can just do whatever you want. So, here's the thing about the wild area, right? If I showed you, like, the desert route from... If I just showed you the desert route from X and Y, and then I showed you, like, the snow route or whatever, you'd think those are pretty open, but they ended up not being that at all. And, you know, they, they never even specified that the wild area wasn't just what roots are called now. There's just so much we don't know that people have assumed to try and defend the game's other shortcomings.
Yeah, I've never played a Marvel Ultimate Alliance game, so I can't speak for if those are going to be better than Sword, or Sh Sword and Shield or not. But, like, if that's your prerogative, you do you. Trickmaster is fabulous. The lock clicks open. Hello, Trickmaster! Oh, hey, Rare Candy! Yeah, like, it's not like Sword and Shield are going to be awful single-player games. I just think that as competitive games, they're going to be a little worse than Sun and Moon. And that's really upsetting, because if you start, if you just start making competitive Pokemon worse, and you just say, this is how we're going to do it forever, that's, that's just sad. You know, it's not like we're making a game for the biggest multimedia uh, franchise in the world. Like, you know, it's it's not like Pokemon has millions upon millions of dollars. So like, yeah, Sword and Shield, it looks like it's gonna be dope, but like, they're acting like it's this grandiose thing, when it's really another Pokemon game, and it looks like the 3DS games as far as character animations go, and some of the environments aren't even that great. I never got to play XD, I, had Colise I have Colosseum, but I've never played XD. I've seen other people play it though, and I've in I've uh, liked what I've saw, what I've seen. I would love to play XD sometime. Man, I love I love just getting to talk about Pokemon because that that's basically I'll admit it. That's what these streams are. This is just a chance to talk about Pokemon. God, can we just talk about how Colosseum looks <laughs> better than Sword and Shield? <laughs> I gotta throw out a cut because we got tormented. Like Obelisk. Remember when I posted Yu Gi Oh videos? Don't worry, I'm not done posting Yu-Gi-Oh! videos forever. I did play Battle Revolution once. It was I. Although, um, my preferred, um... My preferred way to play, like, the Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon Stadium-style games is to sit down at a party and just, like, see what we can do with the, um, with, like, the rental Pokemon.
Okay, Clarice time. Wait, let's actually look at Clarice's, like, stats at some point, you know? Okay. Wow, I can't believe Clarice's, like, offensive... I can't believe Clarice's stats are, like, half that of everyone else. Like, I love you, my child, but weak sauce. Alright, let's go. It's time. It's Clarice time. It's not Clarice time anymore. Audrey time. Um, yes. Cleffa, uh, Cleffa, when it, when I level it up with high friendship, it'll evolve into a Pokemon at random. Oh yeah, I'll give you I'll I'll give you one. Hi! No, no, that one was bad, so I'll give you another one. Hi! Here we go. I'm a heartbreaker. My name, Charles. <laughs> oh, that's a fish. That's a nice fish in the chat. Oh, I thought that was like a biker biker, like in black and white. <laughs> I'm sorry for comparing you to Heartbreaker Charles. <laughs> My computer wife! Holographic meatloaf again. My favorite! Poet Anne, Poet Anne will never defeat me. Not when I shift into maximum overdrive! Karen was seated. She'll fight against slot 16 in today's tournament. Go to a local game store, you'll find somebody with a with a DS Pokemon game. Hey, a water stone. A yellow shard. Hello. How are you? Clarice can fight this because she has water absorb.
Yes! Keep doing that! Please, Love Disc! See, this is just the precursor to Love Disc learning, uh, Heal Pulse. Wait, does Love Disc learn Heal Pulse, or is that just the Loma Bola? Wait, didn't Clarice already have Mega Point? Okay, Clarice doesn't need Mega Pound. Oh, we got a we got a UK viewer. Uh, don't feel bad if you have to just like go to sleep, cause yeah, that's pretty late. Mobile City. Excuse me, sir. Two roads, one above, one below. A road for e a road each for people and Pokemon. Perhaps that's right and fair. More themes of the game over here. What did Nana Berries do? Fun fact, Nanab is banana backwards. Oh, it's, it's just a poke block ingredient. Don't care. Wait, wait, is this the six magic card trainer? I messed up. I made a mistake. Oh no! Okay, it's only four. Man, finding those leftovers is probably the best part of this run. This looks like a job for Kararo. Water gun, little buddy. See, like... I missed... I missed, like, the actual competitive of Gen 5. Like, I, I started... I got started with, like, EV training and whatnot. I didn't catch what Pokemon he's sending in again. So we're just gonna go into our safest option. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> but yeah, so like, I missed the actual competitive of Gen 5, so I've never used a Politoed. Ever. Spoink. We'll send Karo back in. I would send in Banana Split. She's at half health, and I don't like that. See, I feel like we've sort of found our groove, and now there's not anything, like, too scary. Oh yeah, you trade, you trade, um, Poliwhirl with a King's Rock to get Polycode. It would be great to ride a bike at full speed on the cycling road. Whoa! Mobile City looks so different! Mobile City looks so cool in Oraz, and none of that is here. Wait, 
you know, I can't believe we've already been going an hour. Like, if it weren't for the fact that it was the first thing we did this episode, um, I would have probably said, oh, yeah, 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 I think we're good after, um, after we did, um, the gym. But instead, I'm gonna play the game corner for a little bit. Let's gamble, baby! I don't have a coin case. Are you gonna give me a coin case? Can I have a coin case from you? Do you give me a coin case? I would like one of the dolls. Oh, a Trico doll for secret bases! See, you can get Pokemon out of here, so I need that. Young lady next door has a coin case. Next door this way? Nope. They're talking about that house right there. Excuse me. Bit of bike piece. No? Okay. Then what next door are they talking about? I should probably go out here first. It's become a little too peppy. How are Pokemon looking? They're looking fine. Oh, Uncle, please. I want to challenge this gym and see how much better I've become. I'm not pushing it. If I combine forces with Ralt, you caught a Rhydon, Wally! We can beat anyone. Oh, um, uh, Wolverine, you might have missed it. In the first episode, we got a, um, we got the bad egg glitch. <laughs> because, um, we got the bad egg glitch because he got a Corsola and he was trying to catch a Ry uh, Rhyhorn, and the Rhyhorn knocked him out. Fan Kate! What, where, where, what? Silcoon? I don't like that. I think I just messed up. I'm scared. Clarice? Clarice! Clarice! You got another turn to stop! Clarice, you got another turn to stop, Clarice! Clarice, stop! Clarice! Oh my god! Wait, so does Wally flat out just battle you with one Ralts? Like it, like in Vanilla Emerald. I've said in a previous episode, I've never played him. I've played Omega Ruby, <laughs> but I've never played Emerald. So this is my first. This is the the purest Gen three experience I've ever had. God, I was so determined to break the curse. I was so determined to break the one per episode curse. Oh my gosh. We're gonna keep going for Marino, for Tandra, for Jeff, and for Clarice.
Now, here's the question. The question is whether or not we... Mm, I think Sid is the Pokemon to take with us. He's about to fill that normal type niche. Um, he's got an adamant nature. I came from far away. Mock bike. Okay, so now what we do is we go to the bag, find the key out of his pocket, register the mock bike. Rock Smash Dude. Okay, we just got uh, HMO6 Rock Smash. Hey, a uh, Kadabra. Um, I'm sorry. Poomst? No! Audrey! Right? That was too much excitement. Audrey! This can't happen again! This can't just happen again! Oh my god! Audrey! What is on this route? Can I get an encounter here? Oh, my starter was Tandra, the, um, <laughs> the Manetric. Wait, what? Okay, bag is full. I forgot that could happen in this game. No! Cool, cool trainer Stacy. <laughs> Father, is that you?
my child, my wife, I've returned to you in spirit, but not for long. I'm sorry. It's okay, Audrey. We understand. We understand, Audrey. <laughs> Audrey. Audrey, why are you doing this? I don't have a choice, Karen. <laughs> Karen divorced, divorced Audrey from life. I forgot. I should be bringing Wyatt with me because just having a full team is safer than not. Um, Audrey 2 is the is the Venus flytrap from Little Shop of Horrors. And Audrey 1 is, like, the, the dude that, or the, the person that the main character had, like, a crush on in the movie, I think it was. Deposit the deep sea tooth, the deep sea scale. Waterstone, the Thunderstone. Shoal Shell. <sighs> Miracle Seed. Yellow Shard, Bright Powder. Can you deposit key items? No, you can't. Because they don't take up space. Growl TM, the Tail Whip TM. You can't deposit HMs either. Tickle TM. to make a bunch of room in the bag. And now I have to update the overlay. My god. I wasn't even thinking about the... Oh, Ice Ball is like Ice-type rollout. I wasn't even thinking about this part of the whole ordeal. Oh. I have to find a why not.
So, so the way I do this is I have a, um, I have a folder filled with the, uh, the sprites for all of these Pokemon. <laughs> and I just have to scroll through them to find the Pokemon I'm looking for. <laughs> they are ordered by dex number, but I don't remember why not dex number. <laughs> There it is. I'm going to resize it because why not is too small. <sighs> That's not the way I was trying to go. So since any Pokemon can learn any HM... Oh, wait. They must have locked Rock Smash between, behind Mawile City Gym. Or else, like, why would I... Why would I do this? Okay. So here's the thing. It's the hardest part of the run again. Getting an encounter... And keeping it. Whoa! No! No, not another trainer. Manager Cristiano. So yeah, there goes that Roots encounter. Stop! People need to stop registering me in their Pokémon. Bye, Wolverine. Have fun. It's all cool, because we still got one more route we can check. There's no grass here.
Okay, I'm gonna go check the levels on the Mobile City Gym so we know what we're dealing with. Oh man, this dude got four Pokemon and Emerald and like, they go up to like level 24. So yeah, we've got a lot to worry about. The record, I was picking up that revival herb so I could go sell it. <laughs> you can't use it for anything. That's not correct. That's not the Pokemon. Okay, where do I get the coin case, then? dialogue again. Are you the young lady next door? I've not seen a young lady anywhere. Are you? You're not the young lady because you just tell me about, about Riddell Cycles. Is this next door? This doesn't seem right. That's- no, this is the Rock Smash dude's house. She wants harbor mail from Slateport! This is why Pokemon requires reading comprehension. Black flute, right?
I didn't even take the cycling road. <laughs> I got a bike and then didn't take the cycling road. trainers on the cycling road too, so I have to be careful. Could you imagine that? If you were on a bike, and then somebody flagged you down to have a Pokemon fight? <laughs> Hey Slag, I wanna have a Pokemon fight. Is the Pope Catholic? Manager Liliana sent out Farfetched. That's okay, because we still got Karen. Oh my god. I just realized Karen took the kids. Did I get a rating? He, he said something about getting a rating. Did I get a rating for my total time? Yes, I will trade Harbor Mail for a coin case. kind of sick prizes can you get? If there's more than one Pokemon we can get, I legally allow myself to get one of each if I can manage it. No, there's no Pokemon at this one? Constrict, Swallow, Rest, Bide, Agility. Yeah, our game corner sucks. We're out. Anyway, next time on the Emerald Randomizer, we'll probably be taking on the Mawile Gym. See you guys then.